Yes. Excuse me. Oh, um, sorry to bother you, sir. Callan, sir, any idea how long he'll be? 1961. Best year for Burgundy since the war. Uh, you will... Uh... No, 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 thank you, sir. Callan, sir, any idea how long he might be? Oh, uh, an hour or so yet, I should An think. hour? Well, that's cutting it just a touch fine, isn't it, sir? I mean, suppose the professor comes back early. No, he won't. He's been invited to spend the night at Burton Lodge. Burton Lodge? Isn't that Sir Charles Braddon's place, sir? Yes. They'll be talking scientific shop all night, I imagine. Does Sir Charles know what's going on, sir? Not exactly. He's in for a nasty surprise, isn't he? Yes. Now, if you don't mind me, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Mm. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Liz has excelled us at this time. Not Liz, actually, sir. Dial a banquet. What exactly is the professor offering them, sir? A new radar network. The only one in the world that's capable of detecting a low-level attack. He's been one of the team for five years. Well, he'll pay well for that. Not to Rose. He's an idealist. He wrote a book called The Deadly Slave. Harness technology to feed the starving millions, all that stuff. And his contact, sir? A Dutch publisher named Amstel. They met at a book fair in The Hague six months ago. Amstel's the one on the left. Appropriately enough. His name's not Amstel, sir. Exactly. No problems? No. Not too clever of him. Oh, come on. He's not an agent, is he? He's a scientist. Yes, well, this is fine. You look somewhat jaded. Well, I've been up most of the night. It's your age, old boy. Well, take tomorrow off. Relax. A whole day? Give me a chance to evaluate these. Oh. I thought you were being careful with my welfare. Sir? Hmm? From the telephone intercept, Professor Rose has reported a break-in at his house to the local police. Damn. And what do you want me to do about the police, sir? Warn them off? No, no, no. As long as they don't find the intercept, we may not have lost too much. Lord, save me from meddling policemen. Yes, sir. So now we know. I don't like that bit about getting rid of them, sir. No. I hope Special Branch know what they're doing. It'll be the first time, sir. Central 25 from MPE, over. Central 25, over. Reply from SB2 Reeds. Central 25 to follow traveller. Central 26 to remain with vehicle. Inform SB2 when contact re-established. Over. Understood. Central 25 out. The bloody fools. Lambs to the slaughter. Rose did pretty well, didn't he? Could always go over, you know. You won't. The opposition will be under the impression he set up Primaris for us to eliminate him. Charming. Yeah, well, we'll... Get as much work out of him as we can. Till they kill him? Every time he turns a corner, he'd be wondering if there's an executioner waiting for him. Wonder there will be. I wouldn't call that getting off light. Poor bastard. You feel sorry for him? On balance, I feel more sorry for the coppers that were killed. Oh, yes. Um, that reminds me, David, you owe us a pound. What for? Well, we thought we'd have a whip round. Might be rather a nice idea for the department to send a wreath. Be anonymous, of course. Of course. I'll let Brown of Special Branch know it's from, naturally. Good for interdepartmental relations. Yes, yes. One whole pound. You really are all heart. Aren't you? 